you're here with me, Alana. Hello there. <laughs> Today, because it's such a gorgeous day, we are going to be doing some barbecue. Barbecue time. Because it's very, very, very sunny outside. It's very sunny and very warm. You're looking very, 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 very summery. Yay. Summery. I'm not, but hey. <laughs> and we are doing um, mm, mm. our version of a German burger. It's really interesting. Yep. Accompanied with German influenced potato salad. Yeah, which is basically, it's a burger and chips, isn't it? Yeah. It's a burger and chips, but I take well, on making it German. Nothing like. Nothing like, no. <laughs> so, without further <laughs> ado, let's go and look at all these very, 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 very lots of ingredients right down here. Whoa! And here we are at the ingredients. Somebody's just having a little tipple there while I scan through the yes, 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 loads of ingredients. They're not all for one thing. <laughs> we are doing a couple. It will things. all become apparent all when we do it. Clear. And this is not for a tipple. We're just having a tipple. This is the ingredient. Right, so firstly, we have some German light beer. Yeah, but Pilsner, but you can use, if you haven't got that, if you just happen to come across it, you can use any beer. Yeah. Then, ooh, spices. Now, that's, uh, I don't know. You've done Black it. Black pepper. Black pepper. <laughs> Obviously. Ground. Do you know that one? Salt. Yeah. That one looks like mixed herbs, paprika, and garlic. Garlic. Chopped Cornicons, all small gherkins. Yeah, or oh, if you can't get them, gherkins will be fine. Gherkins will be fine. Caraway seeds. Now, that is the flavour of, of the dish. <laughs> it Very. is, if you've never had it, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah. It uh, reminds us of the... Of the walking holidays in Austria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, small new potatoes. These happen to be Jersey Royals because they were on offer, but you can use any <laughs> little small potatoes if you won't be offended. No, no, we don't offend any potatoes. We always represent them all. Yellow mustard. We couldn't get hold of German mustard, unfortunately, so we've gone to the next best thing. Yep. Light mayonnaise. You can use normal. One dancing red onion. On your own. Soured cream. White wine vinegar or a vice wine. I don't know how you say it with vinegar in German, but no. lemon juice and olive oil. Of course, you could use just squeeze of lemon. Here we are with the German ingredients Frankfurters. Mm -mm -mm. That's not German. Mince. 10% because that's better for the burgers, apparently. Mm, yep. Smoked German cheese with ham. You see the flag there. Peppered German <laughs> salami, because I like that. Yeah. And <clears throat> unsmoked, that's a real smoked, no. Brunswick ham, which is German, made in Germany. So oh, you can have smoked. You can just have normal smoked ham, yeah. normal smoked cheese. Da, 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 da. Ooh. Right. So lots, lots of ingredients. Lots and lots. So step number one will be to make the burger, so we will get on with that. Now it's time to make, I'll take on, a German burger. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, what's that, oh, 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 oh. I don't know. <laughs> Just it's excited, it's sun outside it's that's doing it. It's the sun outside that's doing it, yeah. Can't <laughs> yeah, wait to get so, out. Yeah, so first little bit is, we're gonna get these done, get them prepped, and then it's best to leave them in the fridge for a couple of hours, they just firm up better. You know, like I do, because we're as going up barbecue, but if you go in, you know, like under the grill, on the frying pan, don't know why I'm doing that, because that's where oven is. I'm doing a little dance, look. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to start doing uh, any sort of German dancing, because that probably hurt myself. Oh, remember when I did my finger? Yeah, yeah, somebody, yeah. somebody broke the finger trying to do it one time, but that's, that's, that's another a story. story. So, we'll get down and make the burgers. So, very, very now, easy to do. Just before you start, look at the, the ingredients now. Yeah. <laughs> They've all disappeared. Yeah, so it's got got a, a bit less, let's say. Okay. So the first thing is, I'm going to drop said mincing. Yeah, I'm just going to drop the said mincing. Just, uh, let me just get, I'm going to get a spoon. Well prepared. Yeah. So well, why was... do you need a 
rather than a 5% mince. Because what you want the burger to be is nice and juicy in the in the middle. And if you get it too lean, then you know what I mean, it's not gonna be, it's just gonna be too dry. Um, yeah. you need that fat content and also especially when you're barbecuing a little bit of oil that drizzles down onto your onto your flames you know like makes them raise get a little bit of torchiness on there uh, and it, it, it's just it's just better because if you remember we tried it with a really low percentage it did go dry mm. very very quick i mean that's 10 percent. you can go 15 20 entirely up to you right so you've just broke that up yeah, I've just throw that up. It's just going to make it easier to mix the ingredients in because I will be going in with my hands. So, all the stuff we've got there as paprika, as mixed herbs, salt, pepper, and garlic. Everything now just goes in at once. So, get that in. So I'm just going to give that. Oops. Oh, didn't see that. I'm just going to give that a quick fling around the kitchen. Yep, standard. If you watch our cooking videos, you know that we have to chuck things around, otherwise it won't be us. Just a little mix in there. Then, going to add in our little cornicons. And just start moving them around. And there. Then I'm going to add in a bit of, oh, I've took top off instead of squirtiness. So like. I know. So yeah, I'm going to add in. I say this is up to preference, but that's about oh, that's a nice little teaspoon of mustard there, which is you know like that should be all right. But I'm just going to go because I like mustard too. But it's, again, it's up to yourself. This yellow one is not very strong. No. But whatever you do, if you can't get the yellow mustard or any German one. Probably closest is Dijon, I'd say, and like a teaspoon of that. Yeah, don't go English. Do not go English. You will, unless you want it really fiery hot. Yeah, it alters the flavour quite a lot. Really. Yeah. So just give that a little mix round. Just some more little drops. Yeah, that, don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. So it's all going in. And then just to make it a little bit more moister, let's see. Oh. The, the nice German Pilsner. Moist. Straight That's in. The word. Yeah, let's move these out of the way. Move that there, chuck that there. Because then I'm going to be starting to shape them next. Just make a play there, look. Yep. So, but again, we're just trying to get all them good flavours in. I said the seasoning as well. You know, you need that seasoning, you need that salt to bring the flavours out. It smells nice. No, it does. Uncooked. Yeah. I eat it uncooked, obviously. No, no. Some people do. Yeah. Right, so now I'm just going to start getting my hands in. Because I want to give it a good squelch. Good squelch a bit. Yeah. This is why you have to let it firm up. Yeah, you know, because in it's, the quite, fridge. it's quite, I'm going to use the word moist again because you put the beer and the mustard in yeah so. yes yeah, so it, it sends it a little bit of a wet mixture but it will it will hold together yeah as i said these these cornicons we put in again if you don't like them don't put, them, don't in. put them in yeah or if you don't if you didn't want to put them into the burger make sure you want to have bigger ones on the top if you have different people who may like them or not just slice them put them on top of the burger once they're cooked then people have got got the option but I always like to give the mince a good squidge and just like break it in and mix everything. Oh, yep, didn't see that. All right, and then we've got a nice big, big patty. Now, if you want to, you can, you know, individually weigh it to get it equal, but generally, you know, I just, I just start to, because they're going on this plate anyway. I just sort of guesstimate. So would you just make four from that amount yeah, of yeah. mince? Yeah. Four, four is enough. Probably weight of these, you know, it's like doing a like a quarter pounder type thing. So roughly that's what they're going to be, you know, weighing. Mm -hmm. So I'm just squeezing them first into balls. As I said, they're all roughly round about the same. If you want to weigh them, you can to get it exact. 
and then I'll just take that off because then I'll start to shape it. So to shape it, this is how I do it. I've got my ball. <coughs> Some people, you can do it if you want between two pieces of, you know, like baking paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two pieces of baking paper. But I do mine really, really thin. As you can see, nice and thin and big. And why is that? I'm asking you. Because it will cook more evenly, but also it shrinks. Yes. <laughs> as soon as you put them on the heat, it will start. Look at that, I've got little red, little red hands from paprika. As I say, these little bits of corn and corn, some will fall out. Don't, don't worry about it. It's just, that's how it is. But as you can see, it doesn't take that long to do them. Um, to shape them, squidge them, squidge them out into rough burger shapes. We're not on about, we're not after a perfect round here. It doesn't matter. Because as we said, with these bits of corny cons in, they will you know, like change shape slightly. And also, <coughs> as I said, when they cook, they are going to, do you know, shrink. And then last one, I just wanted to show you how quick you can do them. So I start from the middle and then I come out and then I just keep trying to squidge. Squidge. You will get breakages like that, it's no problem. And if it all goes wrong, then just squeeze it back into a bowl and then start again. It's as easy as that. Let's if see, you that's don't just like breaking. Man handling it though, you can get a little burger press. Yeah. But it's just the way that your we hands do it. Will wash. Yes, they will. So just move that. You can see they're very, very delicate. That's because of that beer that went in and the little cornicons do. I might just do that one again in a bit. That might be all right. You just have to be careful when you take them off. So, that's it. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wrap them with some cling film, get them in the, get them in the fridge, couple of hours, no two, three, like I said, I'd say minimum two hours so that they just, uh, you know, do firm up a little bit. So while they're in the fridge, we're then going to get on with the other accompaniments. So we'll crack on with them and you can watch them in a bit. Now, one of the little extras that we mentioned is a, our version of a German potato salad. So the first thing I'm going to do, now this is way out of the box. <laughs> way out of the box? What, what, what box is out, this? It's a potato salad box. Yeah. Normally, ah, what you a... would do is boil your potatoes and then add your, your sour cream, your yeah. mayo, your, all your other accompaniments. But I have decided that today I'm going to try a different route. Oh, so, wild. Here are the potatoes. Potatoes! I'm going to pop them. The new potatoes, we're keeping the skin on. Like I said, they were Jersey Royals. They were cheaper. Oh, there's one chop there, why? Because it was bigger and they need all to cook at the same time. Uh, so okay. what I'm gonna do is I'm going to season. So we're putting salt. Salty, salty, salty. Pepper. Oh, oh why look at that. that? Oh, that's not my fault. No, oh, look at oh, this. Look at this, fault, everybody. Not prepared. Whatever you do, always make sure you're prepared. So now you're going to spend it hours watching somebody. It's like man and fire. Oh. First time they invented fire, it's like, oh, she nearly chopped her hand off. It's mean, like, how do you get the like cellophane or whatever it is off the grinder? And oh, we're still doing that. Oh, still doing it. Soon it'll be like just some sort of. Miracle, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Man and fire. Brute Woman strength. and cellophane on pepper Brute grinder. Brute strength, right. Yeah. Oh, we took it lid off. Oh, remember that bit. Anyway. Back to it, Bob. So now what do we do? So yeah. now, we grate, grind. Even. Great, all oh, right, we're grating now. All right. Pepper. Pepper. Oh, on a pepper thing. pot that's like already been Unpacked and ready to go. There we go. And then I'm going to add caraway seeds. These smell so nice. 
The sniff, sniff test. There is sort of, it's an oniony minty. You're just insane. Mm. Minty. Yeah, minty. Minty. Mm. Well, that's in your red. Right? Anyway. Go on, Summer Girl. I'm gonna, I'm just sticking the remainder of that. We have got, we have got another one. Got Don't another worry. One. Don't worry. Nobody's worrying. Worry. And then a little drizzle of oil. Little drizzle of oil. We'll see if we need any more drizzles of oil. Oops. Oh, yes. There we go. All caraway seeds on there, so it won't taste the caraway now. I mean, it will look at all the caraway seeds there. Oh, oh, oh. I'm just going to put a tiny bit more oil. That's it. And then the oven is preheated to 180 yep. fan. 180 fan. And I'm going to bake these. It's a cross between a bake and a roast, obviously, because it's oil and yeah. da da da. Da da da. Oh, with, with everybody the... always needs the da da da. Da da da. Go so on, I'm back they're going you. in for, I'm going to check about 30 minutes. They're on 185. Check after 30 minutes. What we want is that they're, they're just, oh, you'll see when they come out. All oh, right, they're just, so, right, so you don't like that little bend or whatever. So they're let's, just... oh, chuck them in the oven. And we'll come back to you in a bit. Ta-da! While the potatoes are in the oven for our little potato salad. Which is our version of chips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to show you the next little addition to the burger. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm going to take these potatoes yeah. and... More potatoes. More potatoes, yeah. Do they need to be bigger than that? Smaller than that? Well, just just probably round about that size. You don't want to do them too small because what what we're going to do is these these potatoes. I've done them much smaller. Yeah, you've done them much smaller. I have. So I just. Yeah. Well, yeah. whatever. So basically, these potatoes are going to form what's called a. Come on, man. Tirola Gressel. Tirola Gressel. That is not a German recipe. It is an Austrian recipe from the area of the Tirola. Yes, it is from the Tirola. Where we it... have been many times walking. Yeah. So basically, what that is, and this is why we've adapted it to the German burger. Call it German burger. It's it's it, a, it's how it's to, a, yeah. German Austrian. Yeah. Fusion. <laughs> We've now turned it With into a fusion one. As Yorkshire people. Yorkshire people. But basically, uh, Tirola Grosso is mm. lots of fried meat, and then you add in, you know, like potatoes, and then you fry them off with it, and it's just such a tasty dish. And you put in what seeds? Caraway seeds. The caraway seeds, yeah. And it's sad. Oh, it's, it's just such a. Great, comforting food. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a little patty to go on top of the burger. Go and, do it, go and get them in while I'm talking. Right, just put that back on because that, that got a bit bubbly, didn't it? I'll put it on. It did. Got a bit so, bubbly. We're just boiling these little yeah. chunks of potato so that it is easier to fry because we're going to fry them yeah that's the tarola grossal it's a, it's a fried yeah potato and meat dish but what we're going to do is absolutely stunning we're going to like cook these and then squash them a bit yeah. more so they're, they're more like a like a uh, like a little uh, rossi like, little like a little rossi type thing so back over here so next we're going to get the meat ready the meat so we're just showing you all this while we get oh i've got your reflection in Work top, wave, hey. hey. Right, so start chopping the ham. The ham, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do two slices. And then see if we've got enough. And see if we've got enough. So this is the... German ham. German ham, the smoked Brunswick. Now we're slicing it like that, but what we want is like smaller pieces, because otherwise they'll be too big for They're the... Far too big, yeah. Far too big. So, I'm just gonna, rather than that's about. Yeah. Oh. Oh, we've got a bit of a missing about scenario going Missing on. about scenario. Oh. There we go. What you want is them little chunks little, of meat. Little chunks. 
of ham. And what we'll do is, after we've after we've done this, we'll just separate them all. But you don't want it to. We might need that. a bit more. Yeah. Shall we do another one? I said, do another one. Another one. Just do another one. Yeah. So what we're looking for is equal pieces of this ham, and then also we're going to do the salami. Because when we come to do this, we're going to be uh, cooking the meats first. You know, like getting them nice and crispy, and then we're going to add the uh, you know, like add the meat into the like sort of crushed potato. It's going to be like a bit like a mashed potato, isn't it? It's, and, yeah, and then we're going to form it into bits of patties and then we're going to get them fried off as we're cooking, you know, like cooking the burgers. So, That's it. And that will go down, so that will shrink very, very quickly. Next, so salami. this is the German peppered salami, which is so great. nice. It's so nice. We just had to sample a couple of pieces, didn't we? We did. Before we started chopping this. I love this. It's really nice and spicy as well. It is. So same size pieces. Yeah, it's all stuck together at the minute, but it will. We'll 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 separate. Oh, so. we'll Oops. Yeah. Oh, look at that piece. Mmm. Mm. That's gone. Right. I'm gonna. Obviously, we need a lot more of this because we need same. We need to match, match the quantities up as we're going along. Da -da. I mean, da -da. obviously, as we said, this is our version of a German. Burger, barbecue. It is in no way <laughs> actually German. It is just our. Yeah, we just called it. We just called it like German, no, like burger and chips, basically. But it'll be totally different because obviously it'll be a potato salad with something else in and the burger. There we go. So I think they're about. Yeah. Yeah, they're about similar. They're about equal. So. Yeah. What now then? Dum dum dum. So what now? We need to wait for the potatoes to almost cook. Almost cook, them, yeah. We don't want them too soft, so they just need to be a bit al dente. Yeah. And then we can continue with this very interesting... Burger. Burger. Right. Now, the potatoes... The little ones that we put with the oil and the seasoning in the oven they have cooked they, as expected it was 30 minutes 180 degrees fine oh, so what i've done oh. i've just taken them out and i have sliced them that's it so they look really good so we're looking for this sort of sort of crosley crosley <laughs> type of, is that a word no, I don't no, know. No, 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 anyway no. they're just cooked and after they've cooled as well, don't they? We let yeah, them cool after first. Cooled. Yeah. So they are just sliced there. Yeah. Now next for this potato salad, I'm that we're making up. Making up German inspired. Yeah. Oh, don't want that bit. It, it's as though we haven't tried this before, honestly. Oops. Oh yeah, just oh, five it's stupid onions again. Oh, it's stupid onions. Slice the red onions. Yes. Thinly, this is as thin as I can get. I can get a lot of thinner. You can, but you're not doing it. So no, I'm not doing no. it. No. Oh, by the way, just as the slicing's happening, Ooh. if you're if you're wondering what happened to the other potatoes that went onto the boil, so they've been they've been boiled, and then just so as we said, not too soft, took off, drained. And then just like mashed up to make a little bit of a, uh, you know, like pate seasoned. So you'll see them again in a bit. I know, that was a bit close. So you'll see them again in a bit uh, when we start adding the meat to them. Ooh. Yeah, and still nobody knows what's happening. Nobody knows what's happening. No. Yeah. Do we know what's happening? Not really, no. No, no. It's the first for everyone. We do really, we know exactly what we're doing. It's all right. pre-planned. So I'm just going to leave that. What's up with that onion? It's got that stupid skin on it. It's so slippy and I yeah. don't like it. I just don't like it. But I that, that like looks it, so I'm not doing it. That looks enough onion though, to be it fair. Does. Next. Next, I'm going to slice oh. the frankfurters. Which way is you slicing them though? I'm going to... Oh, oh it's a bit difficult because... You know, if I would generally... 
Oh. Diagonal. Bolts. Go on. I think that's going to be a bit too small. Well, Liz, you've got to make a choice. Make a choice. I'm going to make a choice. Ah! Look. Oh. Now, we've not cooked these. They are literally straight out of the packet. Straight out of the packet. They're ready to eat at this point. So. Yeah, they are. And you don't want to warm up anyway because everything's about it being a cold little little salad. salad. Now, if salad. you do if you do want, this is an option. Uh, you can always oh, you can always do another one. Yeah, I think. You can always you know like either pre-grill them and let them get like a little bit blistered, cool down. And then add them in. That would give you another they're little really, flavour, really another little texture. Yeah, really, really tasty at that point. I mean, the re the rest of these, by the way, will be going on the barbecue later, and we'll just be having them as little little barbecue right. sausages. I'm just going to do another one. How many is that you've done? Four. Yeah, that the, four. I think that's like comes about right with the with the balance ratios. there. Yeah, with the ratios. That's the balance. I meant ratios. Mm. I don't I'm like Frank Furters. Furters. Yeah. <laughs> we said that both at the same time. All I can smell is Frank Furters. Just oh. look in there, though. Uh, mm. I'm, I'm looking in there. I'm just smelling it. Yeah. Next. Next, I'm just going to season pepper. Yeah. A good. <laughs> grind. Good grind. Mm -hmm. Some seasoning. Salt. That's oh, a bit boring. Salt. Well, it's not. Salt's not boring because it, it makes boring, loads of. It? It's really boring. No, it's not because it, it brings flavours out. No, it's not boring. And this is not prepared again. Look, another non-prepared. So I've had non-prepared pepper today, and now I've been non-prepared seeds. I had to buy some more, didn't I? Because yeah. I'm just going to do this. Oh. Oh, that can just oh. see that again. Oh. <laughs> Nutter. Good sprinkle. Good. That's, that's probably about a good Spring couple thing. of teaspoons, I'd mm, say. I don't care how much it is. But that I just had so much flavour. It is absolutely amazing. You're wondering what to do now, aren't I'm you? I'm wondering what to do next. So I'm going to put some olive oil in. Yeah. I'm going to put a dessert spoon in. Well, measuring it. I'm going to put two. Well, that's just like turning into a tablespoon. Yep. And the same of white wine vinegar. White wine vinegar. So we're trying to create a little oops dressing. And again, whenever you do this, you can always adjust, add other little bits and bobs in oh. to make sure it tastes, tastes like you want. Yeah. Next. Next is the mustard. If you could get German Senf, then Senf, it would yeah. be... Senf, yeah. Senf Brut. Perfect. However, we Senf can't... Brut is... Mustard and bread. Mustard and bread. So, that's two teaspoons. I'm going to taste it. Two teaspoons. Two very heap teaspoons. Heap teaspoons. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. There she oh, goes. It smells nice. Next, and a sprinkle of lemon juice. Yep. Yeah. And then we have to add. Oh. Spoon. She's off. She's getting the spoons. Mayonnaise and the sour cream. This way you've got to be careful, isn't it? It is because all of the lovely flavours that we just added could Don't. then just go disappear. So, firstly, I must say, it's looking it fantastic really and smelling I, I, really, really good. I, I don't know that I want to, I don't, uh, anyway, I'm just going to. What are you doing? I'm just going to. Hmm. They can't put that spoon back in, remember? I'm not going to. Yeah. Mm -mm. Right, next. Mm. Next. I'm would you Would you put, put equal, equal of both in? Yeah, one heat teaspoon, tablespoon. Dessert spoon. Whatever. Spoon. Of mayonnaise. And rinsing off is the noise. Yes, they're rinsing off. 
because... Is that enough or are you just building it up? I'm just building. And the same of sour cream. Sour yep. cream is, as it says... Sour. Sour. Hey! Sorry, I'm just very excited there. And then... Start coating. Start coating your... What is looking sensational. Sensational. Oh. It smells, it's, I must say, it smells fantastic. It really does. I'm going to have to get another spoon now. I'm just going to have to get a few spoons. Yeah. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to oversaturate and spoil all the other flavours, do you, with mayo and sour cream? No. I, no. It's about just getting that right balance. Oh, but then what do you taste? Not too much because, you know, I do want to have a little bit later. Mm, just taste that, just taste that. Does it need more? Does it need to be more creamy? Mmm. What are we saying? Mmm. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? I must say no. I think we need to leave it as that. I think that tastes really good. Right, so? So there we go. <laughs> the potato frankfurter salata. <laughs> salata? Why are you doing salata, you nutter? Is is done. I don't want to. I don't yeah. want to put any more creaminess into it. No, I no, think that's, that's it. fine. Yeah, that's fine. That's why we do that. So that's that bit done. So mm. next we will be uh, doing the burgers. Doing the burgers. Right. We're outside, and mm. we are cooking. Yeah. Just gonna put now. Yeah, yeah. Up. Still a bit of work sure to outside. do in here. Yeah. Up. Still a bit of work to do in here, but hey ho. But we're outside. We're on the barbecue. It's a bit windy, hence why we're near, we're near this fence, you know, like trying not to uh, get overtook by the, by the plants. So the first thing we're going to do is, you know, barbecue's on, uh, I'm going to start to fry the meat off and then, oh, there goes mould thing, we've had mould, yeah, so that's that little buzzing in the background. I'm going to start to fry the meat off and then we're going to add that to the potato mixture, get the potato mixture going. And then we're going to get the burgers on. Is that about the plan? That's the plan. That's the plan. So I'm going to put, I've had this pan warming up, a little bit of olive oil in. It's all going that way because it's very, very uneven, let's say. It is because the moles destroyed our yes. address. Yes. That was, at, that was. It was a football grass. stadium grass. Turf laid, laid, yeah. last, laid last year. It looked absolutely amazing. Up and down. <laughs> we got a mould. The mould destroyed it all. Yeah. Well, might be, yeah, I think it was one mould. Could be two. Can you smell that? Ooh. I can, yeah. So what we're doing now is just quickly frying off this, all the, uh, you know, like the ham, the pepper salami. Mm. So we're getting that all good up. Smell it really good. Yeah, I just wish it weren't as windy because this could get very interesting, let's see. So we're just getting that fried off. This is what's great about this little, a little, little barbecue. Little tiny barbecue. We've got that little ring, which is brilliant. Gas bottle there. Gas bottle there. Flip flop man there. Flip flop man there. Well, it is nice and warm. It is. So, only the sun there. Yeah, only in the sun. It is very, very windy. So you'll keep an eye on that. I'm just coming past. So well, just sure we've kept all that stuff, you know, like in the in the shade as much we, as we can. We, yeah, we've got everything with us. Right, so what I'm gonna do is just while that's cooking, this is this is not in the plan, but these are the extra frankfurters that we add. Oh, it's oh. Yeah, well done. I'll just turn that down. So, uh, these are the extra frankfurters that we add. And we always like to grill these off. I'm just gonna. Why are you doing that? Oh, I think we've got. Oh, I think the wind's blowing again. There we go. We're back on. Yeah, we're back on. So we're just gonna get them grilled off while we're cooking that. I'll just, I'll just move them about as we're doing it. All right, I'll just put them. Hmm. Like yeah, so what we want to get is we want to get it a nice bit of crispy, 
consistent dress. Mm. It's the consistent dress. Anyway, if anybody knows what these plants are here, <laughs> then... You, you go and go and watch while I'm cooking. We've planted them, but actually we don't know what they are. But they're taking over and they're great. But we don't know what they are. Yeah. These, this is our honeysuckle. It's not quite out yet. But these, these red ones. Anyway, back to the... <laughs> Yeah, so cooking. So apart from uh, cooking with with us, we've now got gardening world apparently. Just wait till I show you my passion flower. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, taking in. Yeah, but I think I think you need to you need to show that when all the flowers are out. Yeah. We're not we're not having a gardening channel because we're not we're really gardeners. We're so not like, really gardeners. We chuck things in, it's survival of the fittest. As long as the bees are okay. Yeah. Oh but yeah, we do plant for bees to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, so they're just always they're just doing whatever they they deciding to do. Yeah, that's uh, the uh, the barbecue. Ooh. Oh, that was fiery. Oh, fiery, yeah. The barbecue did go out. Yeah, it did. 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 Yeah, while we've done that, as I'm slaving away. Now, so here's, slaving the, away. here's the potatoes. Have a look at them. Oh. So the potatoes, they're the ones that we had on boil. We've mashed them all up. I've seasoned them really, really well. And then we've got uh, some caraway seeds that I'm going to mix around when I add this cooked meat in. So, let me just turn this up again. I'm just trying to get these uh, frankfurters cooked. Because eventually, as burgers are going to go on it, let me just that down a bit. Oh, it's got sun going in, doesn't it? Mm. Oh, let me just put that back up. Hey, sun. No mm. sun. Sun. No sun. Sun. They'll be all right in a bit. They're just... Oh. Fine. Yeah, they'll be fine. So what you want to do is get it so it's just... just nice and crispy. Let's say I've turned temperature down a bit. Nice and crispy, crispy, crispy. I think, would you say that's? I'd say that. That's about done. That's about done. Right. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, come over here. It's very kind of warm you were going over there. I've got yeah. to traverse the mole garden. Yeah, well, that's it. Traverse the mole garden. Right, so I'm just going to drop that there. Just if you want to cook the rest of that garden there. Well, yeah, it's, it's work in progress. Work, work in progress. progress. It was looking much better before the mole destroyed it. Yeah, right. Okay, so, cool. what, so what I'm going to do is come here. I'm just going to mix, mix this around. Da, 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 da. So this is the boiled potatoes mashed with the various German meats. Yeah. And again, same as the burgers. We're going to divide this up into four strategic four as you can see they're just moving them now right mm, they're cooking now they're cooking now yeah good so that's what we want we don't want to be non-cooked right we can so, eat them oh yeah we know oh, yeah right, so we've got that then what i'm going to do is let me just put a bit more oil in it we're going to create little like burger pâtés. pâtés. Yeah. So, oh, have a look at that. So, little burger pâtés. Now, there's one thing when we come to cookers burgers, you may notice that as bread cakes aren't as big as the burgers. As the burgers. And the reason being is we. Uh, it's getting a bit windy. It's getting a bit windy, yeah. We actually uh, forgot about getting burger buns, didn't we? Mm. So we forgot burger buns Weirdly. on us shopping. But that's how it is. So we're dropping them in there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to cook these until they start to get nice and crispy. Right. We've got them there. How great do they look though? Oh, they look really good. Yeah. Yeah. Just move this back over here and I'll cover it up. 
I think these are cooking better this this side. That side? Yeah. The I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, that's covered up. I think it's gone out again. It's gone out. No, 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 it's there. No, it's there. What I'm going to do is, because I need to keep some eating here. Oh no, they are cooking. They are. I'm just going, I'm just going to drop yeah. the top down for a bit. And then we're just going to focus. Oh, I'll put the oven on. We're just going to focus on these. Now, we're hoping for a nice little browning on each, on each side. Mm. So we're just going to leave them to sizzle away. So in the meantime, I'm just going to move the hot dogs to the back because they they can uh, uh, they can yeah cook in, they'll be all right yeah they can they just cook in their own time that's no problem whatsoever but the main thing is we want to get on now is i want to get the burgers on while these are cooking let me just check that other side because so what i want to do is i want to make sure that these get nice and brown They are breaking up a little bit, which is... It don't matter. It don't matter. Because what might happen is, we're hoping they come out in a nice little patty. But what might happen is, they could come out in a big... In a big splodge. In a big splodge. But it don't matter because the brick cakes are literally... <laughs> Just show half, go, go, go show half the size... Go show the size of bread cakes. Of these. So, that's... Yeah. I'm just going to show that. Yeah. Okay. And this is the bread cake. Oh, I've just bit my finger. Yeah, so it's you, tiny. You, you can see it is actually tiny because we messed up. Obviously, get yourself reasonable size bread cakes. Reasonable size bread cakes for this. Right, so get on to the grill. So we've got them, got them barbecuing away. Mm. Oh, it's a nice bit of sun. It is. Oh, yeah, just yeah. moving. They're just moving them about. So I'm just going to, oh, that, oh, that, oh, that's what you want, yeah. oh, just look at that. I know, but... I've just got no to do with it, but, no. you know. We're all going to get to that stage at some point, and... Yeah, so I'm just going to yeah. drop that for a couple of minutes, mm -hmm. just to let it cook away. And then... Cook away. I'm just going to move that, move that around, because obviously we're on uneven ground. Oh, and... can you see? Yeah, that's sizzle. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's sizzle. It sizzled. looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. It does. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on cooking these away, cook the burgers, cook the potato, and then when they don't, we'll come back and we'll start assembling stuff. So we've, if you come in here, <laughs> I'm just getting straight to the point. We've got the lovely, you know, like Tarola Grossel, patties all cooked and nicely browned just like cook them really nice and slow as burgers are nicely browned so what i'm going to do now hey, and the uh, oh. <laughs> just the little bit of mm. real dog bit yes, yes. oh I'm sorry. i can't get into pack it yeah. right so what i'm going to do now is we've got the, the smoked cheese with ham i'm just going to place that over there place that over there then I'm just going to shut the lid while that sorts so while that's doing you just stay focused on them because they do look amazing they do fair. look amazing yeah I've, I've got mm. to be honest and they, they smell look, great they look really really now to really is essentially a massive plateful of fried potatoes <laughs> ham meats yep and Sometimes an egg. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, we sometimes do that yeah. and like put an egg on. Right, so over here. Oh. Now Sorry. on the world's smallest, smallest bread cake, so yeah. <laughs> toasted. This is just gonna go so wrong. It's the world's shortage. Yeah. <laughs> well it's not, it's just that we oh, what What's happening here? Wait. Oh, oh I'm, there we go. I'm coming out. So a bit of okay. bit of mustard on. Yeah. Bit of Oh tomato sauce. Then it goes well as planned. And then it's going to lift this up, not, not the tomato sauce. Oh. So you can see it's just starting. Well, I would be able to see if they went so much smoke. Yeah, it's just starting to melt off. So 
as, as they, they're looking. Yeah, it's just getting a bit melty. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put, whichever way you want to do this, but I'm going to drop one of these exceedingly <laughs> large patties onto a oh. tiny. Look at that though. But I can't. How good does that look already? You must be getting excited about that. Right, let me just come yeah. back around. Let me just come back around there. Yeah, you can see the overhang there. Yeah, and nice. And plants, look. No, no, it's not Gardener's World. Right. Sorry. So let me just check on that. Oh, look, no, it's no. starting to... Yeah, there you go. Oh, what was that? Well, what? Sorry, the ketchup. Oh, ketchup's just fell. To yeah. the dive, and it's taken the red front with it. Yeah, the, ke the ketchup has gone. So that is getting nice and nice and soft. So while we're just waiting for... Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I found out actually, I think that's ready. So yeah. what we're going to do is... Oh. We're going to lift one of these off. Drop it on. <laughs> you know, how good does that look already? It does look really good. <laughs> and... You know, you can do it that way around. You can do it other way around. It's entirely whichever way, but it doesn't need anything else other than that. So I'm just going to now top it with this very, very. Oh, just look, look, have a, have a, have a good look at that. That looks really good. Just have a good look at yeah. that. So what we're going to do now is to finish it off over here. We have dropped. Oh, here we are, over our patio area. Over our patio area. So this is this is where we say it's our it's our version of burger and chips. So what we're gonna do now I mean just... we've got the burger and quite a different variety of yeah. chips. Oh sorry. Honestly. Oh I just chucked it back in, that was idiot. But if mm -hmm. you just look just get i'm going to get in there just get a good look that looks absolutely amazing have a good look at that so what you have there is our we am going to turn that round because that thing yeah. looks even better that way doesn't it Are what you have there is our german inspired burger and a potato salad with frankfurter otherwise burger and chips. and chips so i hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it might inspire you to cook this amazing tasty 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 dish so until next time thank you for watching see you soon, see you soon.